chronobiology. That's the biology of our circadian rhythm. Is there anything else that men and women should understand about our chronobiology? This comes down to our hormone and pulses throughout the day. We see that cortisol, which everyone talks about, is being a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. We have a peak about a half an hour after we wake up. For women, we need to eat in order to dampen that peak. For men, it just naturally dampens. So you don't need the food to instigate a dampening of that peak. We see a luteinizing hormone pulse in both men and women, but the amplitude of that pulse is greater in women because it's responsible for how our body responds to developing an egg so that it can be fertilized. We also see estrogen pulses again to pulse throughout the day and then throughout the week before we can come to one of those estrogen peaks. Our body is aligned for these pulses and we have a 24-ish hour clock and within that we have cellular clocks. So we have a cellular clock that's telling us to pulse luteinizing hormone every so often. We have a internal cellular clock that's telling estrogen to pulse every so often. And we can change that through differences in sleep, change that through our light wake time and through food intake.